What's up guys? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Sandbox. It's one of the top Metaverse projects right now. You can see that out of the top Metaverse projects currently by market cap, Sandbox is ranked at number three out of the Metaverse projects by market cap. It's only surpassed by Decentraland's Mana Token and Axie Infinity, guys. And I would like to point out, let's just go ahead and take a look at our 24-hour gainers here over in the Metaverse category on CoinMarketCap. Guys, we have Anux, or Ux, is up 105% right now in the past 24 hours. You've got Epic Prime up 61%. You've got Ethverse up 50%. Just all across the board, guys, these Metaverse projects popping up are just absolutely doing wonderful. Um, in the midst of the Bitcoin dump and the altcoin dump, these Metaverse projects are still booming, guys. Do not sleep on these Metaverse projects. And guys, we will be taking a look at the Sandbox chart here and doing some analysis on the chart, possibly coming up with a bullish price prediction, as well as taking a look at our bearish scenario and possible levels of support and resistance to pay attention to coming up. So stick around for the whole video. And of course, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the community here, guys. We're growing fast. We're almost to 7,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to smash the like button. It's the best way you can help support the channel, guys. Don't forget to do that, man. Destroy it. Absolutely destroy it, guys. Just destroy it. Massacre that like button for me. And we're going to jump right on into the update, guys. If you would, check us out at AverageJoeCrypto.io. It's our community-driven project here at the channel. It is available on Uniswap, guys. As always, invest at your own risk. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And with that being said, let's jump right on in to the update. So the Sandbox is a virtual metaverse where you can build, own, and monetize your creations, okay? Um, this, is, this is going to be huge as the metaverse is really taking off and gaining um, popularity as well as um, notoriety. I mean, people are just finally learning. A lot of people, most people are just now learning about the metaverse, what it is, and most people still do not understand it. And the sandbox is going to be a huge part of the metaverse. I mean, you are literally able to um, play, build, own, and monetize your virtual experiences. Uh, the sandbox empowers artists, creators, and players to build the platform they always envisioned. Um, you can pre-register here. I've actually already pre-registered and signed up. And you can buy land. So that's a big thing right now is buying virtual land. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that during this video because I really want to just focus on the price action for the sandbox um, sand token. But you can buy land and they are in the form of NFTs available over at OpenSea.io. And like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but I just want to point out the price of some of these guys. OK, so like look at here, you can see uh, land um, 12.5 Ethereum guys or 40,000 sand tokens for this. OK, the land is not cheap. The real estate, <laughs> the virtual real estate in the metaverse is not cheap. Also, just wanted to point out their partners they have listed here, guys. I mean, come on. The first one right off the bat, guys. The first one, man. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Right off the bat, man. Snoop Dogg. And you got The Walking Dead. I mean, you have The Walking Dead. You have um, you have uh, Snoop Dogg enters the metaverse here, guys. I mean, this is really cool. Snoop Dogg is building his mansion inside the sandbox. And you are invited to the party. Okay? Your VIP party pass. So you can, um, you can go into Snoop Dogg's mansion in the Murderverse on Sandbox. And you can see they're partnered with the Smurfs. They're partnered with Hell's Kitchen, Roller Coaster Tycoon World. I mean, just Dead Maw, Atari, Care Bears. I mean, come on. They're partnered with Care Bears, bro. Um, Richie Houghton, I'm not sure what that is, honestly. They're partnered with Avenged Sevenfold. I don't know if any of you guys know who Avenged Sevenfold is, but that's a band. And that's crazy. I did not expect to see that there. Um, that's pretty cool. You can't tell. I'm pretty excited about this stuff. Okay. I really want to jump into this stuff. I really want to get in on this now. Um, I really do. I, I fully believe that this stuff is going to be um, a huge investment opportunity, possibly the, the best, most life-changing investment opportunity of our time coming up, um, just as blockchain and cryptocurrency was and still is today, but really was um, years back, right? Um, I feel like the metaverse and all these metaverse related projects and metaverse companies right in the stock market, all these companies that are going to be a part of the metaverse, huge investment opportunities right now. Um, and it's really cool. So what we are going to do in this video, though, is take a look at uh, the sandbox sand token, uh, which is the main utility token that allows you to buy and sell lands and assets in the sandbox metaverse. So as this metaverse grows, guys, as the sandbox metaverse grows um, and like I, like I said, I mean, you. Right now, you can only pre-register, right? You can pre-register right now. So as this grows, I mean, this token has the potential to really, really um, appreciate in value. So let's go ahead and jump on into the charts. 
But also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below um, if you think um, maybe doing a live stream, a, a, a live hunt for low cap metaverse projects would be a cool idea. I thought about doing this. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Even though technically the larger cap metaverse projects, including Sandbox, are still pretty, um, uh, pretty much on discount in my opinion, right? Um, as you can see, the Sandbox is currently trading at $3.47, still, um, still pretty cheap, right? I mean, you have others that are still pretty cheap when you take a look at the top metaverse projects. I mean, um, Axie Infinity, of course, is up pretty high, $133, um, but the Sandbox, $3, Decentraland's Mana, $3, Engine, $2. I mean, you can see that some of these are even um, in the pennies, right? Um, some less than a penny. So just be careful, obviously, you know, when investing in any lower cap coins. But um, overall, these metaverse projects, in my opinion, are still super undervalued at this point um, as we are just in the beginning stages of this. So definitely great investment opportunities. So let's go ahead and jump on into the chart. So Sandbox, I have it pulled up here on the hourly chart, guys. And you can see I've got a nice little pattern drawn in here. It makes it makes a lot of sense to me. This pattern makes it makes absolute perfect sense to me. Um, you can see you have multiple touches here on the hourly. You've got a nice touch here, nice touch here. And then you broke out here and you actually back tested right here. Let me zoom in on that just to show you this back test real quick. Let's zoom in on this um, because really you've already back tested your previous resistance pretty nicely um, and found some support there. You can see right here um, after breaking out of this, you back tested it perfectly here and bounced off of that previous resistance. Okay, so that's pretty bullish. Currently, though, it does look like sand is trying to have a little bit of struggle to get above this area here. You're getting kind of stopped out up here at about $3.60 approximately. Um, however, you're still in an uptrend, right? You're still in an uptrend and you still broke your resistance. So overall, still pretty bullish here. So let's take a look at the bullish target and then we will go ahead and zoom out and take a look at possible support areas to look at um, for uh, a pullback if we do not maintain bullish here. So guys, on the hourly, I do have a measure move here, a nice measurement of this breakout. Um, that's going to be the from the top to the bottom of this pattern. As you can see, it's measured up perfectly there. You bring it over to your breakout point, guys. And that's going to get you up here right at about $5. Okay, so that's going to be our, our possible bullish target for sand right here on the hourly chart, guys. Um, our possible bullish target is going to be right there at about $5. Right there at $5, guys. Um, it doesn't quite get you to it, but it's just a couple of cents. So we're going to say in and around five bucks to the upside for Sandbox. Now we can go ahead and take a look at our possible uh, support levels to look at for the downside. Say we continue to get rejected here at our resistance at about $3.60 or so. And we come to the downside. The first area of support we're going to look at is obviously our previous resistance from the downtrend that we broke. So the first area of support is going to be this area here. And that's going to put it, put you in down here at about three dollars and eight cents approximately, right there at about three dollars and five to three dollars and ten cents or so. Um, so that would be the first area of support to look at. If that does not hold, guys, um, we could go ahead and look at some other areas here. This one being at about two dollars and ninety eight cents. Um, you could slightly uh, fake out below your your previous resistance turn support. You could slightly fake out below it. Um, you know, triggering triggering some sales, but uh, you could catch uh, support there. There could be a lot of buy orders placed at that previous uh, resistance, which is right here. You can see previous resistance all along the way right there. Also resistance here where you fell to the downside. So it's a possibility, guys, that that would hold a support where you just kind of fake out slightly below this and then get a nice bounce and continue on to the upside. Now, next level down, just to point out some other areas of support, um, you know, you do have possibility of support down here at the bottom of your, um, your uptrend here. That's going to put you in down here at about $2.50 or so. And that actually lines you up here with this previous support um, on the hourly chart as well. You got support here at about that, uh, that price level at about two, uh, $2.50. And then also right here at about $2.50, you have support. And here you have support as well as here. So lots of support there at about $2.50. That would also line you up here with your uptrend line. So if you break bearish here for some reason, if Sandbox breaks bearish for some reason, um, 250 should hold in my opinion. Um, now I will go ahead and stress some even lower targets, even though I don't believe that's the, the case. I don't believe that's going to happen, but you, um, you, you do also have, um, some support down here at about, um, a, about $2 even actually, you got your previous support here as well as some support right here at about $2, $1.95 to $2 guys. I do not believe Sandbox is going to go that low. I'm super bullish on Sandbox. So just to point those out though, I like to give you guys bullish and bearish case. So Right. Um, also, you could possibly expect 
um, to get stopped out at around 450, um, just psychologically. But overall, as bullish as I am on this, guys, just as I'm bullish on Mana and other Metaverse projects, I do not believe that uh, we will see any anything too bearish happen, depending on what happens with Bitcoin. But even with the Bitcoin drop, guys, even with the crypto markets seeing a drop, you can see that these Metaverse projects like Sandbox are holding up pretty strongly. Okay, even with the drop, guys, these are still pumping. They're still in an uptrend. They're still looking bullish. So um, keep that in mind, guys. Um, it could absolutely blow through my target of $5, but $5 is psychologically probably a good target as well to pay attention to. Um, not to mention, technically, from a technical standpoint in the charts, this measurement gets you to exactly $5. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys so much. Hit that like button. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and you love cryptocurrency. Hit that notification bell. Join the Discord. Check the links in the description so that you will never, ever miss an upload or a live stream. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to check out AverageJoeCrypto.io. Um, I'm in the process of editing the website, updating the website, I, I believe, on mobile. Um, if you visit the website on mobile, the picture in the background might be distorted. I'm working on fixing that. But still, check us out, AverageJoeCrypto.io. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.